All right, what's up everyone? Uh, today's video is gonna be a, you know, answer the question you guys ask about my canopy. Get that pretty often. Seems like there's some interest on YouTube about my uh, DIY canopy that I use in my truck. Uh, a little bit of background on that. I had purchased a new camper shell. It didn't come in, so last minute I had to go out and find a used one. Um, and I couldn't get a roof rack in time, couldn't get a canopy that I wanted in time, so I just used what I had available. Went to Walmart, found some painter's poles, some uh, had some old tent spikes and some rope and just basically came up with a cool solution. Uh, and it worked for me on my trip. I used it for like two months straight, never had any issues with it, hail storms, rain, wind, some shade. When I got home, I passed this on to some other guys and what I learned was there's still supply chain issues. They're still you know, trying to find uh, canopies and um, the kind that fix to roof racks is still really, really hard. There's usually like a six or seven week wait. And in the interim, this became a really good solution for those guys because uh, you're not out a lot of money and it's something you could probably use even if you have a fixed canopy. So I'm just gonna pull up some old footage. Uh, like I said, this is back in June. All right, what's up? Um, starting to cloud up. Look like it might start raining. So I thought this would be a good time to go ahead and get my rain tarp out. It's my rain fly from my hammock. So and all I've done is I have a bungee on both sides. Bungee's off the tire. Add some of that truck seal stuff left. So I put that in the corner so it wouldn't cut. See this side. And then I have three of these extendable painter spools from Walmart. These are the same thing, one, same ones I use from when I do my kayak fishing. They're seven bucks, so I have three of them. The cool thing was it fit right in the little groove, my rain fly from my hammock. So all I had to do was use the, the line from one side, and then I bought some rope with me and staked out both sides. So pretty, and if I needed to, I could I could do the same thing here. I could take that, stake that down a little bit tighter. Um, last thing I need to do is go by and just drive those stakes in the ground just a little more. But yeah. Can raise and lower that pretty easily. I think they extend like seven, seven foot, eight foot, something like that. But uh, yeah, so another great thing about this system, uh, one, you can use it even if you get your canopy, you can use it as a shower. I heard guys doing that. But if you ever find yourself in a situation where the camping spots are kind of uh, a lot of competition for them, like it's a highly trafficked area, it's kind of busy, you can leave this canopy as a spot holder. Change plans real fast. I was driving down the, the road here. It's also a pull out. There was a guy camped here yesterday, so I drove past it but it's day it's open. So I decided I would go ahead uh, and grab, grab this spot. I don't know what the dispersed camping options are all on this road. And this was a pretty, pretty sweet spot. So I just rigged up my rain fly. You can kind of see what I've done just to kind of claim it. So but anyway, uh, now we're gonna go fish. I wanted to go ahead and have a place now. I don't have to worry about trying to find a place to camp tonight. All set. Um, so yeah, looks good. A lot of guys use those little small tents. Glad I stopped today and put my um, my rain fly up. There was a uh, husband and wife stopped by earlier. Had a nice visit. They were uh, they were from Lewiston, I think. So we stopped and talked, but they stopped because they wanted to know how long it was going to stay. Because um, in their words, this is their favorite campsite. And I knew when I drove by this morning, this was a great camp spot. So I told them though they could uh, they wanted to go ahead and throw their tent up. I can throw their tent up and save the spot. But you can actually use this. So if I set it up, I can use it to, to get out of the rain. I can still use it to, to get some shade. Uh, I can also use it to put my chairs and things like that under and uh, you know provide some privacy from the road. I've showered behind it. Um, so it's really cool because yeah, it's got lots of functions. It doesn't just sit on my rack. I can set it up and drive away, leave it and come back to my campsite and not worry about somebody uh, taking my spot. So that's pretty helpful. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, drop those below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, try to put some more of these type of informational stuff out there rather than just me fishing nonstop. Um, although I do like fishing nonstop. So but anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.